Sports, and welcome back. This is John over at FleaFlickerSports.com, and today we're going to actually talk about a topic that I've been receiving some questions about. I see a lot of it online, um, and I'm visiting with Bet Online, one of our top-rated sports books. And really, what I want to talk about today is how do you overcome credit card rejections with sports books or online casinos, and understanding what happens because it happens to us all, and there's reasons behind it. So basically. Understanding, you know, these credit card rejections and not giving up and knowing that you, there is ways or there are ways to get your money in is super important. Um, you know, credit cards have long been a convenient and popular method for depositing funds at these sports books, whether it be bet online or any other any other one. Um, basically, it's instant funding and ease of use, right? And, and that's why people love them. They're hassle-free way to get started with your online betting and, and or your online casino play. Um, you know, to make a deposit using a credit card, you simply need to enter in. You know, basic information, as you can see on the screen, when you click credit card, um, you know, you can go here and you can see the different options that you have, expiration, CVV, making sure, obviously, the expiration is correct, the numbers on your card are correct, the CV2 code is correct. Um, once you specify the amount you wish to deposit, the funds are going to be instantly available in your betting account, provided that you have sufficient credit funds available in your bank account. Now, however... Despite this convenience, um, they are prone to be rejection, rejected more frequently compared to other banking methods, um, unfortunately, right? And uh, this is unfortunate because we've all gone through it. Um, you know, we're going to talk or dive into the reasons behind these reje rejections. We're going to explore alternative uh, solutions and how to over overcome this issue. So basically, the culprit is the banks, not the cards themselves or the cards brands. Uh, many individuals individuals mistaken, um, they, they kind of believe that the credit card brands such as MasterCard and Visa are the ones responsible. That's actually not the case. Uh, each bank has its own policies regarding real money online sports betting. Some banks are more lenient and accommodating, while others are steadfast, you know, against internet wagering. If you find yourself dealing with a bank that falls into the latter category, it's likely that your credit card deposits are going to have a very high rejection rate, no matter where you choose to play. Okay, and that's something to keep in mind. Um, now, um, that doesn't mean to say that you're not going to be that you need to sever ties with your bank or deal with a, or file a grievance or anything like that. Uh, it's just that your game may have an, game. Uh, your bank may have an anti-online gaming policy. Instead. I would consider opening an account with another bank specifically for your betting activities. That's a possibility. Now, what things are influencing um, these actions? Well, obviously, the UIGEA uh, is not the sole legal factor um, in regards to influencing sports wagering within the United States. There's several other legal events that have happened, but they're, they're the biggest one. But let's talk about some things. So first of all, the challenge is that depositing with an offshore bookmaker, you know, as mentioned earlier, certain banks are more likely to reject these cards. That's number one, um, especially if those cards are operating out of New Jersey. Um, that that state alone right there, it makes it very difficult. And we, have, we know that there are a lot of gamblers in New Jersey that play offshore. Um, we also know that Offshore bookmakers operate in markets without obtaining necessary licensing. One of the things that we look for when we re when we rate our online recommended sports books and casinos is to make sure that they are properly licensed. Uh, whether it's in Curacao, whether it's Costa Rica, whether it's in um, in Europe, wherever it may be, um, you know, deposits made from gray markets such as California to offshore books could see a high rejection rate. Um, in fact. The rejection rate for such transactions wouldn't surprise anyone if it was over 50%. Um, and it's because people try and try again. What are the solutions? Right? So how do we resolve this issue for dealing with credit card rejections? Now, there are several options available. Uh, I'm going to talk about each one. So number one, check the numbers again. Make sure that your card number is correct, the CV2, as well as the expiration date. Um, and if you get a new card, because it expired, make sure you update it online with your account. That's number one. Number two, as I mentioned, you can open another bank account just for your gambling activities. One that's a, a bank that is more friendly. I recommend contacting the customer service department 
they typically know what banks are more friendly or more inclined to pass or allow deposits to come in uh, so you can get get on your way with betting and gambling i also recommend using bitcoin sites now bitcoin has emerged as one of the popular and definitely convenient uh, solutions for bypassing any restrictions whatsoever. It's a decentralized cryptocurrency. I've put videos specifically in the reviews so you can see more in depth how to do it, how to open a wallet, how to transfer the money, and how to get it back when you win, right? Um, you know, Bitcoin operates independently of the traditional banking system. Simple as that, same thing, same, as well as government regulations. So by using Bitcoin, you can enjoy fast and secure transactions without even worrying about approval or rejection from any type of bank whatsoever. It's just a question of you having the money in your crypto account in the wallet to transfer. And that is it. Making sure, though, and you'll see this in the tutorials that I've put out, uh, making sure that you do use the correct transaction number uh, for your wallet. What are other paths? So apart from Bitcoin, there are other alternative payment solutions uh, that you're going to find. Some are e-wallets, prepaid cards. Sometimes bank transfers will work, um, and they're definitely viable options that can help you overcome credit card rejections. For e-wallets, you got PayPal and Skrill. Not all books will take them, but most are. Um, you just need to check and make sure that your bank account um, is set up for each of those, whether it be pay pay PayPal or Skrill. By linking your credit card or bank account to the e-wallet, you can deposit funds pretty much and transfer to and from uh, with an added layer of security and privacy, which is a good thing, obviously. And all the sites nowadays do want to protect your privacy. Um, prepaid cards are another convenient solution, especially if you're, they're not associated with a particular bank. Again, I would ask customer service at your sportsbook, which is the, uh, the bank that will likely give you the least amount of issues. Um, and fund your account and play, literally with no issues. Finally, you know, let's just really quickly look again at what are the different, I guess, pros and cons of credit card usage. While credit cards may face a higher rate of rejection compared to other deposits, you can still be, a, it, it, I'm sorry, it can still be uh, a viable option for certain situations, whether depositing uh, in a regulated market or not, whichever it may be. Um, they're fast, they're convenient, and the money's right there for you to play. Um, you know, credit card rejections, at online sportsbook can be frustrating, but there are ways to overcome it. If you listen to the tips that I've given you, checking your numbers, your, your, your information that you're entering, um, if that doesn't work, uh, finding and opening another account with a friendly bank using that. Definitely factor in Bitcoin, uh, tutorials all over the place, but I have tutorials as well on each of the reviews, uh, and I'll be putting out additional ones for cryptocurrency, how to open accounts and so forth and transfer money. Uh, E-wallets, again, amazing. Uh, they're super fast, super easy. Uh, and then you also have prepaid cards uh, or bank transfers. So, you know, we're going to keep this page updated, you know, as new trends for deposits evolve and make it easier over at FleetFlickerSports.com. And we want to see everybody happy. We want to see you get in, get your money in safely. Now, we're also approaching football season, right? NFL, and people like to get their money in and play throughout the entire season. Make sure you have your method of payment set up and basically be well before the season starts. This way you know you're safe and comfortable and ready to go when the season starts. Um, so those are my tips and recommendations that I would use. Uh, I want to thank Bet Online. I'm using their site right now uh, to shut sample how to get the money in. But those are the ways that you can tackle uh, when you have a declined credit card. I hope this helps, this review uh, and tutorial. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Please hit subscribe. We'll be producing more videos like this uh, in the future, and we're always trying to educate our customers and, and obviously you know, have your back. So have a great day. This is John over at FleetFlickerSports.com. If you have any questions, send us an email over at support at FleetFlickerSports.com. Thank you.